Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to today's devotional on Journey to Marriage. My name is Mrs. Samo Kasali and I am delighted to welcome you. Today I'm looking at the topic, Beware of Counterfeit. And before we get into it, we are going to say a word of prayer. Can you pray with me? Father, thank you for this day, for, the, for today. Thank you as we look into your word. Lord, help us, oh God, teach us, help us to be the doers of your word and not hear us only in Jesus' mighty precious name. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, the topic is beware of counterfeit. The book of Matthew 4, 8 to 11. Matthew 4, 8 to 11. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. 10. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him. For the scripture says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. 11. And the last, then the devil went away and angels came and took care of him. Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you're familiar with the scripture, you will know that this is talking about the story about the temptation of Jesus Christ. Jesus has just finished a long fasting and prayers of 40 days at the start of his ministry. He has been in God's waiting room and the time for his glorious manifestation was fast approaching and the stage was set for Jesus to walk into the beautiful plan and destiny that God had for him and guess who showed up. The devil, he showed up with his plans, with his gimmicks. He came to distract Jesus from walking into that beautiful plan and purpose of God. He came with a counterfeit. He knew that Jesus was destined to be great, to have a name above every other name. But he came with an earthly glory. He knew that the glory of Jesus was going to be the highest. But he came with an earthly glory to lure Jesus away from his God-given destiny and from the glorious plan that God had for him. He said, I will give you the world. I will give you the glory of the world if only you will worship me. And if Jesus had done that, he would never have become the Jesus that we know today. Praise the name of the Lord. Does this story sound familiar to you, dear brother or sister? Have you been praying and trusting God and you have been in God's waiting room, trusting God for that marital settlement, trusting God for that job, trusting God to give you a child, trusting God to make a way in that area of your life. You have been praying, you have been waiting, and what you don't know is that you are about to walk into your beautiful manifestation of the glory and plan of God for your life. God is about to settle you, and guess who has showed up? The devil has showed up in your life. He has showed up in the form of pressure from your parents, pressure from your friends, pressure from your in-laws and your loved ones. They are mounting pressure on you. You are single. There's pressure on you, and you are beginning to consider going with with the flow at least if you get married they are going to you know get off your back or if you have that child your in-laws will stop abusing you you know you're beginning to consider the other 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 methods or other ways that you can do it that is the trap of the devil to lure you away from the purpose and the beautiful plan and the manifestation and the glorious gift and future that God has for you do not give in to that it. Do not beware of counterfeit. There is nothing that the devil can give you that will be as good as what God has prepared for you. Can I shock you? In verse 11 of that Matthew 4, immediately the devil left. Angels came and ministered to Jesus. That tells you and I that angels were already on their way. To set him into the glorious manifestation to comfort him. Sister, brother, God has already dispatched angels with your miracles, with your testimony, with that your desire to settle you. If you if you accept what the devil is offering you, if you compromise now, if you do that thing you know is not right in the sight of God now, at least to, to get what you want, then you will never be able to receive what the angels are coming with. I say again to someone under the sound of my voice, God has dispatched the miracle, the marital settlement, the children has been dispatched. Hold on. Do not take counterfeit. Beware of counterfeit. Your miracles and your answers are on the way. And you will get them in no time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wait for the original blessing. 
that God has for you, it's on the way and you will get it soon in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this, your dear children. Help them that they will not miss it. Give them the grace to stand. They will not bow into pressure. They will not be pressurized into things that you have not ordained for them. They will get their one. The glorious future you have for them, they will not miss it. In Jesus' mighty precious name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you for watching. What is my action point for you today? Always remember, all that glitters is not gold. And no matter what the devil gives, he can never give you what God has for you. So wait on the Lord, and he will satisfy you. Will never be ashamed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.